When you're new to use case-based requirements gathering, getting started can feel a bit like a maze. A good place to start is with actors, the people or things outside the system that interact with it. I like to start out by identifying actors, goals, and terms. Start out by creating a new model or opening an existing model if you've already created one. Remember that actors are things outside the system that can be people or other systems. You can start with a context diagram to visually put together a map of who or what interacts with the system. To create a context diagram, just click on the link on the Case Complete Start page. The circle represents the system under design. The system boundary, the outer edge of the circle, is where the actors in the system meet. Rename the system shape with a meaningful system name. And start adding actors by dragging them from the system toolbox. Rename the actors to the specific roles they represent. Connect the actor to the system using arrows that indicate whether the actor initiates the interchange or the actor responds to the system in some way. Actors can be human or non-human, such as external systems. By collaborating with your domain experts, you should have no trouble coming up with the names of roles that will be using the system in one way or another. Soon you'll have a high-level diagram that shows the context of the system with respect to who or what interacts with it. The next step is to define how those actors interact. Every actor has a reason, a business goal, for interacting with the system. Add those goals to the actor definition. Open the actor details and capture those goals in brief, concise statements. Using a verb-noun form of goals will be helpful later when you create use cases from those actor goals. If you haven't already provided a description of each actor, this is a good time to do that too. Every business has terms that have special meaning. When you encounter those terms, add them to the glossary. That will ensure that terms are properly defined and are used consistently. When you type in case complete, the system will suggest the term as you type, and then highlights those terms to indicate their glossary entries. You can hover your mouse over the highlighted term to see its definition.